Good morning, friends. It is very early in the morning, but I am up and taking some time this morning to pray and to give thanks. And I wanted to spend this special time with you. For those of you who are stopping in for the first time, my name is Pastor Ruth. I am the pastor of the Longmeadow Congregational Church, United Church of Christ in Auburn, New Hampshire. And I come here to YouTube every Sunday with a service of worship that includes prayer, scripture, and a reflection. But I also come here every Wednesday with a special message for the children of our church. And so I am here today on this Wednesday to share with you a special message that I've been working on throughout the month of November. In November, we celebrate a special holiday here in the United States that we call Thanksgiving. It is a time that we give thanks for all that we have. <clears throat> And so I decided that, you know, I don't want to save my thanks to God just for one day. I decided that I am going to claim, it's my decision, I'm going to claim the entire month of November as my month of gratitude, my month to give thanks. <clears throat> and so earlier, a few weeks ago, I decided to make up what I'm calling my thankful pumpkin and I shared <clears throat> excuse me and I shared a uh, copy of this with you and if you would like to uh, copy it I've put a link in the uh, box down below and you can print it out and color it in for yourself but it's just a pumpkin and I've decided that I want to use this pumpkin to remind me every single day to pray and give thanks to God for just one thing. Now, it can be more, but just one thing. And so I put this on my refrigerator because that's where I can see it every day. And it reminds me to take time. And I tend to do that in the early morning. That's the time that I want to spend with God because... It's a time before I get all distracted and time when, before I get into my day, I want to make sure that I start my day in a good place. And I think one of the best places to start my day is by thanking God. And so over the past few weeks, I have been writing down things that I've been thankful for and I've been sharing it with you. Now, in the first week of November, I talked about and gave thanks for the saints of my life, those people who taught and nurtured me in my faith, people who helped me to grow as a disciple of Christ. And then last week, I talked about how thankful I was that God has given me the opportunity to give and to serve other people. And I talked about ways that in our church we are serving other people and how you and your family could be part of it. This week, I've been thinking something more basic than that. I have been thinking about how thankful I am to have certain basic things in my life. For example, I have a nice home. I live in a house in this wonderful town of Auburn. It is a comfortable house. It is the right size for me and I can be in it and stay warm and comfortable. Another thing I've been thankful for is that I have food to eat. That I have enough money to buy groceries every single week and that that is enough for me to eat. I'm also very thankful that I have medical care. Last week I needed to go get some medical tests and that there was not a problem that I knew that I could go to my doctor and get the tests that I needed and I was very happy to find out that what was going on with me I was not seriously sick and I was able to get the care from my doctor that I needed <clears throat> and I didn't have to worry about it. 
I'm also thankful for it's basic for me for my cat even though sometimes she interrupts my videos I'm still very thankful for my cat Katie because she will come and love me and snuggle with me no matter what so even if I've had a bad day Katie still loves me and she will come and snuggle with me I am really very blessed and one of the things I'm also blessed with is that I have a job a job with people that I love people like you that I can come and talk to people about what I'm thankful for and that I can come here on YouTube and talk to you about Jesus and I can welcome people into our church whether it be in the building or here on the internet and that I am able to do this because for me it's a great privilege to be able to do that. Now I was talking to some friends about the, these things that I'm thankful for this week and somebody said well why are you thankful to God for that Ruth? I mean you work for those things you work to earn those the money to buy those things why are you thankful you deserve those things and it is true that I do work for a living and I do work hard for a living and I work a lot of hours to do it but the fact is there are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people around the world who work just as hard if not harder than I do but don't have access to the things that I have people who long to be able to have enough food on their table or to have a nice home a nice house in which to live there are people who work 40 50 60 hours a week and still cannot afford medical care they don't have medical insurance and they can't afford to go to the doctor and there are some people who look for a long time and don't find a job that they love as much as I love my job you see I know that although I work hard I'm not the only person who works hard and so these things that I have are pr a privilege I am grateful to God and it, I don't have these things because God loves me more than other people I have been fortunate I have been privileged to live in a place where I can get work to have had access to good education I have had a lot of privileges in my life that many people have not had and so I think that it's important for me and I think that God is putting on my heart to not take these things for granted to not assume that I'm special because I have them to not just say well I earned them and I deserve them but to be thankful and then to go the next step and say what can I do for the people who don't have the privileges that I have and the blessings that I have can I be a blessing to those people can I do something that will help to change their circumstances and so that's what my prayer has been this week to God to ask thank you for my home help me to know what I can do for someone who doesn't have a home thank you for my job help me to know what to do for someone who doesn't have a job thank you for my cat help me to know what to do for somebody who doesn't have somebody to cuddle every day thank you for the doctors and the nurses and all the people in the hospital who took care of me help me to do something for those people who don't have access to medical care and thank you for my job and help me to to know 
what to do to help people who right now don't have a job. Help me to always keep those people in my heart and be open to what I can do. That's what thankfulness leads us to. Thankfulness leads us to know that we are privileged and that God has blessed us. And hopefully, I think God wants it to lead us to finding ways that we can bless other people. Will you join with me in prayer? Lord, we thank you for all the blessings of our lives. Make us a blessing to help those who have not had the same privileges that we have had and to remember that everything we have is a gift from you. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful week in this week leading up to Thanksgiving. And I hope that you will join with me again next Wednesday when I'll be here with a special message for the children of our church and also come on Sunday when I have a special message of prayer, scripture, and reflection for the entire church family. If you want to know when every time I post a new video, you can look down below and there's a button that says subscribe and right next to it is a bell. If you click on both of those things, you'll receive a notification of every time I post a new video. So until I see you again, I hope you have a great week. And remember, I love you very much. I miss you. And remember that God loves you more than you can ever imagine. Until I see you again, have a great week. Bye-bye.